Hello, I'm Googleable. Welcome to your life. Today is beautiful. Please log in. This time unskilled human labor is dead for real not particularly due to this robot though. Luddites are not gonna find any jobs in the London factories this time. How many decades before robots are cheaper than Chinese sweatshop workers? I didn't take that long for smartphones to be cheaper than $100. We are gonna get a front seat view of the next labor revolution. I am morbidly excited. Within minutes he had been picked up by Soviet radar, and less than an hour later a MiG fighter jet approached him. It passed me on my left side so close that I could see the two pilots sitting in the cockpit, and I saw of course the red star of the wing of the aircraft. Russ was terrified, but instead of attacking him, the jet passed by and disappeared into the clouds. A combination of unbelievable luck and human error had led to Rust's plane being mistaken for a friendly aircraft. A plane crashed the previous day, and an ongoing rescue operation, along with training four new pilots had led to confusion in the air and in control centers. Continue reading the main story find out more. Matthias Rust was speaking to witness on the BBC World Service Witness airs daily and tells his story through the eyes of people who were there listen to the program browse the Witness archive somehow Rust managed to make it hundreds of miles across Soviet airspace to the capital without any further contact from USSR defense forces. I couldn't believe I actually survived, he recalls. I had calculated at the time that my chances of survival were about 50-50. And after I reached my destination, I knew that I really was on the lucky side. But his relief at seeing the spires and domes of Moscow quickly faded when he realized that landing was going to be difficult. He had wanted to bring down the plane in the middle of Red Square in order to make a big statement, but the landmark was packed full of people. Continue reading the main story of Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Cessna 172 Skyhawk popular mass-produced light aircraft, Rust signed one out from Flying Club, for three weeks four-seater equipped with extra fuel tanks boosting range from 200 miles 324 km to 816 miles 1389 km supplies, maps, sleeping bag, 15 quarts engine oil, life vest, and motorcycle crash helmet on the ground, Soviet citizens were stopping and looking up in amazement as the small white plane circled just 30 feet 10 m above the ground. Finally Russ spotted a four-lane bridge next to St. Azel's Cathedral, so he circled around one more time and touched down there. Later, when he was questioned by the Russian police, he learned that the bridge was usually spanned by thick cables, which would have made a landing impossible. By chance, they had been removed from the bridge that very morning for maintenance. The police presumed that I had cooperators in Moscow who had arranged it so that I would be able to land, Russ says. At around 19.00, just as the sun was going down, Russ taxied his plane into the square and climbed out of the cockpit to greet the crowds which gathered around him. They wanted to know where the young foreigner was from and why he was there. I am here on a peace mission from Germany, Russ told them. When they shook his hand, Glad to meet an ally, he had to explain that he came from the other Germany West, not the Communist East, as they presumed. Dr. Robin Stott, a British doctor, who happened to be in Moscow as part of an anti-nuclear pressure group, was taking time out from a non-proliferation conference to see the sights when Ross landed his plane right in front of him. It was an extraordinary thing. None of us had a clue what was going on, he recalls. Matthias Rusty now works as yoga instructor and financial analyst everyone around him was very impressed. Even the security services kept saying what a brave boy they thought he was. Once the police had recovered from the shock of finding an unauthorized aircraft parked at the gates of the
was a wonderful day. Please come back tomorrow. Red. Blue. Green. Mic check one, two. Congratulations. You reject the good enough. You reject words like symbolism and postmodernism. Obsolescence is not part of your vocabulary. Every night, every day, every step of the way. The dictator of fashion. The agenda of the color wheel. Gone. It takes more than a pretty face to catch your attention. I repeat. It takes more than a pretty face to catch your attention. Good. That is very good. We are source decoded. For you. For the most perfect moisturizer. The most advanced cosmetic lineup. Scientifically proven, scientifically tested. For you. Congratulations. Calibration completed.